Good morning, Hannah. Good morning. All right, what are we up to today? We're feeding Little Miss Hummingbird. Yeah. She was attacked by a cat over at Connie Hughes' house. And uh, she had to go to a business trip, so I'm taking care of it for the time being. But at noon, or a little afternoon, we're going to go over to Bob's house in San Dimas who is a wildlife rehabilitator, and uh, hand her over so he can give her the proper care that she needs, which involves a lot of protein that I can't give her. Because normally in the wild they eat thousands of little bugs throughout the day, and I can't really catch thousands of little gnats for her. So, And the formula that he uses costs over $80, so it's quite a bit. I see we have a sanctuary built. We do. We have to make sure Shay doesn't get in though. Stay. Back. Go ahead and go in. Back. 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 She's perched up there in the top. That's her little spot she's like in. So this is plain sugar water. She's excited. Let's see how she responds to this because she was having the red commercial nectar that Connie brought over, but I was doing a lot of research and that's really not good for them. The dyes can cause uh, health issues down the line, so I made some regular sugar water and she's getting excited. She knows what this little straw means. So let's see. Sometimes she'll even hover up to me. <laughs> If you see, she's got some. Oops, sorry. She's got some missing feathers on her belly, and she doesn't have any tail feathers. They're all gone. That's from a cat. So you talked to Bob on the phone from some from the wildlife center. From the Wild Wings rehabilitation center and it went straight to his house so he's got it so the calls go straight to his house and he was he was super welcoming and said oh we've got some hummingbirds right now and uh, he's looking forward to taking care of her for us all right so so we're gonna transport do you have a name for this uh, bird yet um, I, I've been calling her kind of just little love, little Hummer love. Try not to get too attached. It's a little hard. Alright, so we're going to venture over to Bob's. Mm-hmm, around noon. It is currently about 8.30 right now. She gets a little sleepy after she eats. That's what she's doing here. When they fluff up like this. They tend to have a tendency to go into torpor, which is kind of like a little hummingbird meditation or sleep. But they get all puffed up and they reduce their heart rate. Helps them keep warm in the night. And she's healing right now, so she's trying to stay as warm as possible. So what's next? Well, we're just going to take care of her for the next few hours and then take her over there. Hopefully I can go visit her, see how she heals. 
down the line. As much as I'm trying not to, I'm a little attached. <laughs> You can see her little tongue when she's drinking. She wasn't eating for a little while. I think she's in some pain. We're about to get her ready to go to her new home for the time being so she can heal up from her cat attack wounds and grow those tail feathers that are all gone back. So we just dropped off our little hummingbird friend and it was a little, it was a little strange or a little impersonal. We just kind of handed her over in her little shoe box and it was an older woman who I think runs a lot of the rehabilitation center with her husband. He may still be at the center um, taking care of the red-tailed hawk, but that was it. <laughs>